What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, if you haven't seen my social medias over uh, this past weekend, uh, you would be surprised by this video. Uh, for everyone that did see uh, what I uh, recently just purchased, I thank y'all for all the love and support you guys shown on that on uh, the recent post. But for those who don't know, watching this video, yes, your boy just obtained his dream car. I got me a 2019 gt53 amg and it's beautiful uh i was not expecting to get this uh car this weekend uh what well, is past week actually i wasn't even expecting to get a new car this year but uh i have been looking into getting a gt model of amg uh for a while now and ever since i got my last Benz, uh the e43 amg ever since i got that i have been looking every week to just see, you know, what's out there. Not to even actually purchase it, but just to see what's out there to kind of keep me motivated, keep me uh, going to obtain it at one point. And uh, this past week, there was one that I saw and the price was too good to pass up on. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. And that's literally how I ended up with this car. Um, I just want to say thank you to you guys um because none of this is possible without your guys support uh glory be to god as well um being able to do this for a living entertain you guys for a living and uh it pays you know pretty well for me to be able to obtain things that i've always wanted to get it's truly a blessing and i'm i'm never um i never forget that i never forget where i came from i'll never forget how many people just started coming to the video, subscribing and, and checking out the content, enjoying the content that I created, uh, especially with the homie Dub. Shout out to him uh, for motivating me to even start my own channel. Like none of this is possible without the man upstairs and none of this is possible without you guys. You, you guys have changed my life for the better. And it's just something that um, I'm really thankful for. So uh, I'm gonna show y'all a video of the car um real quick uh i do plan on doing some more car content with this particular vehicle this is going to be my vehicle that i go to the car meets with um do some cruising with as well i want to show y'all a nighttime pov of the car um so y'all can see how it looks at nighttime because with the ambient lights and how it's set up it looks like a complete it's like a, a spaceship at night. So I want to be able to just switch up the car content. Uh, I know some of you guys have been asking for it. Well, now it's coming back. And uh, I think this is the perfect car to do that with. So I'm going to show y'all some uh, some video footage of the car itself. Uh, I probably won't get into the uh, complete specs of everything. You know, I'm not trying to make the video too long. But just give you an overview of, of what I purchased, man. And... Uh, I hope this is a motivation for somebody that's out there to keep going, bro. Keep grinding, keep putting in the work and go for what you want. You know, strive for whatever it is. It can be something small. It can be something big, but put in the effort to go for it because you never know when the opportunity comes and you're actually able to attain, obtain it. Then it's like, you know, now you're in that situation where you can actually do it. Put yourself in that situation so when it's time for you to get whatever you want to get, you'll be able to. So uh, let's go check out the car and y'all let me know what y'all think of it. Let's go. All right. Let me introduce y'all to my 2019 GT53 AMG. As you can see, it comes in Jupiter red with the yellow calipers, black Mercedes rims. I'm not going to lie to you, this color... This is what kind of got me, to be honest with you. It's something about this red. Yeah, red's one of my favorite colors. This actually is my favorite color. So the fact that I was able to get this in this particular color, I love it. You don't really see too many GT AMGs on the street down here. I mean, people have them, but, you know, you don't really see too many of them like that. I love the, uh, the retractable spoiler you know it can go up you can set it to stay up it goes up at certain speeds or whatnot to stabilize the car when it's at higher speeds as you see GT53 on the back AMG 
I love it, man. This this car is nice. I do plan on getting some uh, some upgrades relatively soon. First and foremost, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get some tint on the vehicle. <clears throat> Most likely, probably get like the 10% tint that I have on my other bins. Uh, I also plan on getting like a, uh, a PPF, a protection film for like the front of the car, so it can you know protect against rain chips and stuff like that while I'm on the highway. Um, and after that, I'm going to go into the mechanical side of things and get some tunes and upgrades. In fact, let me go ahead and pop the hood for y'all, man, real quick. All right, y'all. Let me show y'all the engine. It's a 3.0 liter inline six. Pumps out 429 horsepower, 384 pound-feet of torque. Not bad for a, a 3.0 liter inline six but it also has some even more power capabilities this engine also comes with an eq boost like a mile hybrid system so essentially i'm able to get in certain situations i'm able to get 450 horsepower and 568 pound feet of torque now how it happens is when i'm driving along and it shows me a meter like it has an actual battery in the trunk it shows me a meter on how much the battery is charged and how you charge the battery is simply when you let off the gas and you're kind of coasting it charges up the battery so say you get to like a stoplight or whatever and you want to potentially launch the car or you want to go from like a standstill and just gun it pedal to the metal that's when it'll give you that potential extra boost or sometimes even when you're just coasting along it'll give you that extra boost and i can feel it it's times when i'm uh, you know it's it's moving smooth and then when i get to a stop or maybe i'm coasting and it's charged up and i gun it i can feel that extra horsepower and i can feel the torque because it starts to push me back so it's, it's actually pretty dope that you can get that much horsepower just from the battery they have in the back once it charges up so i'm very excited to ultimately get some tunes on this vehicle uh i think i'm gonna start with a ecu uh stage one tune and some down pipes and then i'm just gonna over time start maxing that out probably get like a uh aftermarket uh, upgraded turbo, uh, upgrade the fuel pumps, and I do plan on going full E85, so I'm going to record that entire process, so best believe this is not how the engine is going to be looking um, when it's all said and done, but hey, I'm not complaining, this bad boy has some get up and go, and I'm going to show y'all in some future clips or whatnot, but yeah, this is, this baby bad motherfucker man i know it's not a twin turbo v8 but best believe it can still it, it still got some punch to it and i'm rocking with the car all right let me show y'all the interior of this bad boy i like this piano gloss finish they have on the trim if you can see it's like this piano gloss finish this is where uh the gt style of um the design on the inside you have these all these are like touch screens. So when I turn on the car, I'm able to set different modes and, you know, activate the spoiler that's in the back. And, you know, it, this is the GT style console, how it's set up. And the ambient lighting all around the vehicle, yeah, I'm telling you guys, when I do a nighttime cruise, y'all going to see how it looks at night. It's uh, definitely, it's, it's a cool experience. I got the sunroof right here, nothing too crazy. Got the Burr, Burmaster sound system. It actually sounds good, the, the sound quality in the car. And let me show y'all the back seat, because the back seat is actually really cool. I was not expecting this when I pulled up to the dealership to see this. Now, right here, this is like a, um, a command center for the passengers, if I ever have some passengers. Basically, they're able to control the light settings in here. The, uh, the temperature control, they can also see exactly what type of performance is going on in the car. They can check the horsepower and torque that's being used. All from the back seat. This is a little touchpad that they can, you know, activate and use how they see fit. Also, with the cup holders, there's this button right here where it's heated and cool. So I press it and it'll glow blue. 
that means it's cooling off whatever drinks that are in here press it again it'll turn red and it'll heat up whatever drinks are in here and uh you can also turn it off and if you don't want to heat and cool up your drinks but i thought that was actually pretty tough and then also they have the uh the charging ports and stuff down here you can't really see it but you know whatever you need to charge up your devices they have multiple ports down here so if i ever have any passengers i think they will taken care of man uh it's only a uh four seater as you see you know but i think this is pretty cool i'm not even gonna lie to you now let me show y'all how spacious this trunk is this trunk is huge as y'all see right here, I have my car cover. So, you know, whenever I get home, I just put the car cover uh, on and then, you know, put it under uh, under my designated parking spot with the, the, the shed over it, the shade over it. Um, but as you can see, there's plenty of space. These two side seats, back seats, they drop down. There's a, uh, you can, you know, charge a device right here. Uh, you see... The, uh, the sub, I'm guessing this would be uh, the Burmaster sub in the back too. Um, and like I said, it's just plenty of space. All right, so underneath is a little bit of extra space if I needed to put something down there. Granted, I don't think I would because I think I have plenty of space with this trunk. And uh, now nah, this is... This is nice when it comes to just making sure, you know, I can, if I need to put something big back here, I can. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, this is this is nice, man. I'm, I'm rocking with this. And once again, the color on this car, they call it Jupiter Red. It's fantastic. It's just it's just just a beautiful looking looking vehicle. And I'm just very thankful to be able to, you know, say I'm driving in a GT AMG, man. And this is my baby right here, man. I love this car. Well, there you go, guys. You guys got a chance to get an up-close look at my beautiful baby. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some more car content. It's been a minute since I uploaded some stuff on uh, on his channel. But uh, I, I felt like I wanted to wait till I got the dream car before I really started getting back into it. And there we go. <laughs> Here we are now. I was able to get the dream car and now I'm going to be, you know, putting it to good use. So I, I I can't wait to record the journey of me upgrading the vehicle over time, getting it as fast as possible. Can't wait for y'all to be able to experience that, doing some nighttime POV drive so you can got so y'all can see how it looks from, you know, a nighttime perspective with the ambient lighting and going to these different car meets and just having a good time, man. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I think it's going to be something dope to really push the car content on my personal page, man. So comment down below. Let me know what y'all think of the new whip, man. Y'all rocking with the color. Y'all rocking with how it looks. Let me know how y'all feeling about it. And also what uh, type of car content you guys want me to post with this uh, new vehicle. Let me know what y'all interested in car wise. Like, do you want me to start filming more of me pulling up to the car meets? Do you want me to start filming uh, some more situations of like the late night cruising around the city? Uh, let me know what y'all would be interested in me uh, when it comes to filming uh, with this car. Let me know what y'all want to see from that. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.